Some say it is a brave and bold step when a parent says they are willing to talk for the first time on camera about the fact that their child is transgender. In a moment, you will hear from Pure Romance CEO Chris Ciccinelli and his wife Jessica. Their child born Luke is now Elsie. She is 10 and now this family is on a mission to help others here in Cincinnati and all over the nation like theirs. Around three years old, uh, he would say, Mom, I feel like a girl or Dad, I feel like a girl. I'm more of a girl than a boy. Jessica and Chris Chicanelli struggled, as you can imagine, for years with how to deal with what their child was feeling until one night when Luke was eight and Chris gave in and bought Luke girls clothes. And there's a kid prior to that didn't smile, was not very angelic, uh, never really talked much, um, nothing. And then all of a sudden this person walks out of the dressing room that is wearing this blue skirt, white top, and starts twirling with the biggest smile and says, Dad, what do you think? And I sat back and went, oh my God. Over the next year, Elsie, the name she now uses, became more bold wearing girls' clothes. Her parents say leading them on a journey with her bravery. It has nothing to do with us as parents. Like, she's the one that took us on this path, and she's the one that is like, fought for this and said, no, this is who I am and yep. I need you to listen to me. And like, she's so strong. I mean, to have the guts to walk into school in a girl outfit and to like, just be like, this is me. You know, kids asked her, why yep. are you wearing that? Cause I like it. Cause this is who I am. Mm -hmm. And it just, it, it doesn't really phase her. I mean, there, she has her moments, but I mean, honestly, that is, she is the strongest person I, I know. Elsie may be brave, but her parents are still protective, so we're not using her picture for this story. Now, the Chickenelli say they found amazing help through Children's Hospital's transgender clinic. Dr. Leanne Connard is the director, and that clinic didn't even exist until midway through 2013. There was an occasional family who needed help, and, you know, I, I would just start seeing them. Dr. Connard thought they would end up with about 100 kids. Then Leela Alcorn, a transgendered teen in Cincinnati, killed herself. And she wrote about how her family's inability to accept her as a girl led to her death. Today? We're on schedule to have had a thousand kids come through by March. I am stunned mm -hmm. by these numbers. Are you? Yes. We're basically probably seeing the tip of the iceberg, I would say. So when you say tip of the iceberg and you talk about a thousand kids in your program, that could be multiplied by 10. Yeah, because there are families who, there, so there are kids who don't come out to their family because they don't feel safe. So we're not seeing those kids at all. What we had uncovered is that there was just not a lot of resources. There was one doctor, there was one social worker, and one nurse. The Chickenellis know Children's Transgender Clinic is overwhelmed. So they started a foundation, Living With Change. We want to create a foundation that A, one, partners with Children's Hospital to bring more resources, bring more doctors, bring more social workers, um, bring more nurses so they can get specific with the pediatrics uh, health care that needs to be given to, to these children. The couple has pledged $2 million of their own money to do that and to teach other doctors, nurses, teachers and administrators how to work with and talk to transgender kids. Transgender kids attempt suicide at a rate of 41 percent. The Chickenellis hope by talking about their journey and creating this foundation, they can help kids and maybe bring that percentage down. Our hope is that people will at least have an open mind and hear us out. And yeah. once they understand it, I mean, because at the end of the day, as a parent, as a mom, as a dad, all you want is for your child to be happy. Like that's all you want. Yeah. And that's literally that is what led us down this path. So Living With Change is also going to partner with the Cincinnati Public School District. It is going to train principals, it will train teachers, and eventually bring transgender education into the classroom and teach the kids as well. This story has already started a pretty good conversation online oh, yes, on, on social media since we, we pushed the information out. How's Elsie doing herself? They say she is so good, better than good. They said this is a child who went from struggling in school and struggling socially to now she's in the top 20% in school. Mm -hmm. She has friends over all the time. And while she had friends before, she has really, really blossomed. They say this difference in her is just dramatic. All right.